it is human nature to desire, to have the need to want something in life. Some are harder to get than most. It almost feels like it's beyond our reach. But that will only fuel the desire even more. It is not easy, but it's not impossible. If you close your eyes, you can almost hear in the distance that sweet sound of desire making its way on the road. It is one of a kind. And now, it's here. Well, here it is. Here is a car that you will never probably see on the road unless you are here in Brunei or in Japan or in Australia. Where well, here's a car that is so special that it's so rare. I didn't even know that this car existed until I met the owner and a few of my friends who introduced me to this car. Well, here is the R32 HKS 0R. You may look at it and say, it's just another Nissan R32. Well, you're wrong, it's really not. So what pretty much Ruff did with Porsche and you know how BMWs has Alpinas? Well, the thing is, this is what HKS did with the R32 back in the early 90s. What makes this car special is the fact that HKS wanted to take this car and made a, and wanted to make a higher performance of the R32, so that's what birthed the Zero R. Everything was going quite well up until, you know, the safety standard testing that they had to do back in the time, it costed way, way too much money, so what happened was they halted the production, leaving only four. So we are so lucky to have one with us here in Brunei and this is definitely something to be proud of because like I said this is as unicorn as it can ever be for the car community is and honestly for me to be able to stand next to the Zero R is such a huge honor and I want to give a huge thank you to the owner for you know giving us the opportunity to to review this car and to have it be on the road because it took us so much time to try and convince him to get us to review this car. <laughs> I'm in the Zero R and we get to drive this car. And mind you, there is no other video of somebody else driving the Zero R since back in the early 90s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's not a lot of videos of it. But mind you that I'm sitting in this car, it's really hard to drive this car. The clutch is so sensitive and that's coming from somebody who drives a manual every day. This car definitely, if you're a manual driver, it'll test you and it's like driving, it's like learning how to drive manual all over again. Let's give this car a go. All right, well, wow, got lucky there. <laughs> this noise. I'm, I'm just smiling right now. Guys, I, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm sitting in the R32 Zero R. Who can say that? This is definitely a moment that you know you'll cherish for a very long time, and that's how I feel right now. You can't you can't help but get a little emotional, you know, driving this car. In the short amount of time that I've sat in this car and driven this car, it drives insanely well. HKS has done a great job at putting this car together. We got a little straight. Let's give it a little go. Third gear pull. 
Moose kicks them. Oh, 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 oh. When boost kicks in, it's just I, this this car comes alive. Even when it's gradually getting in boost, you already feel how hard the car pulls. And once it gets to that point, it's game over. It's game over. It handles like a dream. The turns feel like it's a straight line, and that says a lot. We've driven a we've driven a lot of cars uh, on this road, and nothing feels as as stable as this car. First things first, when you want to compare this car to the R32 GTR, it's very, very different, but in subtle ways. From the looks of it, of course, you can tell that the body lines have made it so different. Um, especially right here, just in the rear quarter panel right here, you can see this little swoop and it kind of continues on with the rear spoiler and it gives it such an iconic look as well as we have to get into the rear end. Looking at the rear end, you can immediately tell that it's not your standard R32 GTR because the rear end is so special. They just wanted a really unique looking rear end. It's as simple as that. So in order for them to achieve this crazy exhaust setup, they had to move the fuel tank up into the rear seat, making this car a true two-seater. Let's talk about power. This car right now, uh, on low boost, it's pushing a little over 550 horsepower, and on high boost, it's around 600 horsepower. It feels like it's way more power, and it's way faster than just 600. It's really crazy. A little pull. Oh, oh my god! This car is an animal. Honestly, I don't know when there will be another time for me to be able to drive this car. And being able to say that I've driven a Zero R is an accomplishment in itself. And we can, like I said, you know, being that this is the season two opener for, for you guys, this is happening because of each and every one of you guys. The one thing about this car, it's, it's the, the part that kind of weirds me out a little bit. It's the fact that the faster you drive this car, the safer you feel in it. Waiting for a boost again, boost is in. <laughs> first we gotta get into the suspension of the Zero R and just a side profile and the overall look, right? But first off, I wanna dive into the suspension. The owner has actually upgraded the suspension components to the HKS Hypermax 3s to help better improve the handling. And let me tell you from the ride-alongs that I've been doing with the owner, it's honestly, it handles so well. I'm very, very um, impressed at how well this car drives, honestly. And I think it helps the fact that it's 30-way adjustable so the owner can kind of adjust it to his liking as far as the drivability. Moving on to the wheels. The wheels, these are the SSR Professor SB3s, which are no longer available on the market, which kind of makes it that much cooler. So another thing that makes it even cooler is the fact that it went through an HTM process, which is the, the heat treatment uh, manufacturer process which allows for the use of thinner materials for a lightweight, um, for more lightweight wheels. So I think it kind of fits with the overall performance of the Zero R. And one more thing, when you're looking at this thing on the side, as you can tell, the gas uh, fill up is now moved on to the forward because of the fuel cell that is now in the back seat of your R. Also with that is the side vent which helps cool the brakes as you go so everything on this car is so functional that you know it's they all contribute to something that help better improve the performance of the Zero R. Okay so let's talk about the front end of the Zero R. Not much has changed from this and the GTR except for the front bumper. I love the 90s rally tie fog light look that you know HKS did with the front end. Honestly big plus. Well let's talk about what is powering the HKS R32 Zero R. So some of you may look at this, well it's an RB26. Not just an RB26. So it's a fully built R RB26 that has been stroked to a 2.8 liter which is what makes this car 
so insanely powerful. And looking at the turbo setup, you may ask, why doesn't it have the TA45S, which comes stock with the HKS 0R? Well, the thing is, the, the turbo blew. So what the owner did was, instead of sourcing another TA45S, which is no longer available, and at the time was very, very expensive, he decided to go with the T78 Gretti setup. And a lot of people may say like, oh, how come? Guys, these are high performance cars, so when you drive them hard the way that you're supposed to drive them, which is how HKS wanted you to drive these cars, then you will understand. It's crazy of the rich history that this car has, um, which gives me so much more respect because this is a car that is actually driven, not a garage queen, so it shows the imperfections and the wear which honestly, what race cars should show. Some of you guys are probably asking, well, the car is not the original color. Well, you're not wrong. The original color is zero silver. And moving on from that, as rare as the zero R um, is in the world, there's so many misinformation out there. So many people are saying this is wrong, that is right. Well, we do our best to research and to put out as factual of an information as we can. We've been looking at the serial number of this specific zero R. The serial number is 100101, which makes us believe, and if this is true, it would just be the ultimate game changer for Bernay and would definitely put Bernay on the map for having one of the rarest cars in the world. And what we mean by that is if this 100101 means that this car is the first one to have ever rolled off the lot from HKS, that would just be insane. So HKS, we've emailed you. Be sure you contact us if you're watching this. The interior of the Zero R, okay? So this thing is such a beautiful combination with the exterior. So the owner has reupholstered the seats and the rear fuel cell paneling to this beautiful red Alcantara, which just completes the color combo of the white exterior and the red interior. You can't go wrong with that. Another thing I want to note is the little details that HKS put into this car, like the HKS um, logos in the instrument cluster on the speedometer and the RPMs, as well as the small little gauges. The owner has put in an AEM air fuel ratio gauge in here as well. This car just comes packed with cool things. And you want a glove box? Well, there's no glove box. There's more gauges in there. Let me tell you, if you're looking for a street comfort car, this is not the car. Well, the thing is, even if you wanted to look for this car, you the chances of you getting a zero R is really, really slim. And like I said, it just really it makes me appreciate how rare this car is. So with all the driving that I've been doing in this car, there is, you know, the, we've got to show you guys another perspective of how fast this thing is. And mind you, there are quick cars and there are fast cars. This is a fast car. So here is, we're introducing something that, that we haven't done before, a special little segment that we're doing. It's called the reaction cam, where we have a few of our close friends come in and you guys get to see their reaction to how quick this car drives. Yes, wow. It was a memorable experience, definitely the first for me. Uh, it's a car like no other. It's also really cool knowing that this car is super rare and I got to experience being in one, so 
Thanks for the opportunity. It's really powerful. Like, um, I didn't think it would be that powerful because it's quite an old car. Apparently it's as old as me, but I enjoyed it. I love it a lot. Yeah. Zaman 90-an, tapi engine-nya powerful, brother. So masa aku first ride this car, bunyinya tu, wow, just wow. And... Here's to our victory lap, and I, I words cannot describe at how blessed I am to be able to sit in this car. I've been saying that because it's true. When do you get to say that you you've sat and you've driven? A zero R, a car that there's only 10 in the world made and four, it's kind of spread out in the world. And this one running, registered on the road here in Brunei. I can't, it's, it's crazy. Holy shit.